Morning, gang. So, day two of heavy spraying. This is what I was met with this morning. Let's hang on a second, what's going on with this camera? Got a whole heap of this here, which is just a massive trail spreading out. And we've got this here, another trail. Spreading out. This is all to dim the sun. So it's still early morning, the sun's still very low. What will happen is the sun will come up to about here. This will spread down to about here and it will cover our entire morning sun. Why are they covering our morning sun? Ask Harvard University. This is part of their solar radiation management program, 2019. They openly admit they will be actively dimming the sun. Sorry, my bit of tape over my camera. Keeps popping up, keep those cameras taped up when I'm not using it. So, you can see here, big dispersions spreading out. And if I say zoom in on, you can see it looks very much like aerosol. Oh, now my camera won't unzoom. Um, I woke up this morning, could hardly walk. My foot's just killing me. Not sure how that works. But you can just see all this aerosol shit is just spreading out. My barium levels are through the roof on my toxicity test. My copper levels are through the roof. See if we can get in this real aerosol looking section here. Sorry, this fucking thing keeps peeling up. That is straight above me, full blown aerosols. Chem lines. Straight edges, not natural. You don't get straight edges, you don't get geometric shapes in nature. So this is a full blown chemical assault today, people. And for some reason, the arthritis in my body is inflaming up something fierce, even though I've been taking my turmeric, um, taking my iodine, zinc, black seed oil, cumin seed oil. Um, so it's gonna be a long day today when I'm struggling to walk. This is the chemical assault. We do not consent. And I'm sorry, but I don't remember giving an American university permission to dim my son here in Australia. Don't, don't remember agreeing to that somehow. Um, pretty sure you guys don't remember getting the memo on that either. So, there are forces at play that we can't even see. It's very hard to know who's behind this. Evergreen um, transport based in Arizona desert. That's where all the um, 737 passenger planes that were bought up as they were retired um, were retrofitted with new everything and I mean everything electronics engines um, kitted up with all the sprayer equipment in the back and this is why I see planes that look like passenger planes coming in and out of Pierce Air Base which is about 30 k's east of me um, constantly seeing planes coming from the east from the base which have the windows on the side um, which have coloured tail tips um, usually colours like red, light blue, colours that are um, you know passenger carrier colours on their planes. What are they doing coming in and out of our little local Perth Air Base? Non-military 737s, passenger planes, all the windows still on the side, all the shutters pulled down um, 
yeah they come out of there quick so it's very hard to get inside get the p900 get the lens cover off get back outside get zoomed in on them but at some point i'm going to park up out front of there one day and film these converted passenger planes coming in and out of our military base pierce air base um did a um massive overhaul of it in um between 2008 and 2011 they spent approximately $158 million on this base, which if you'd have seen the base before it, the entire base with all the infrastructure and the land that it's on would have been lucky to be worth 20 million bucks, maybe 30 million bucks. They had a couple of big hangars, a small wash plant, a small fuel plant and a short runway. Now they've got a 3,000 metre runway that you can land very large planes on, especially if you're a skilled pilot, you could land A380 comfortably on 3,000 foot if you're a skilled pilot. Um, they um, fully upgraded the fuel bay, the fuel plant, the wash bay, the accommodation, built new hangars, um, getting it all nice and ready for the international pilots that were going to come in and fly these converted 737s. Now I'm not saying anyone and everyone who works at Pierce Air Base knows about this project it's very compartmentalized so only the people who are very directly involved in it will know of what's going on uh, like I said Pierce was a small air base um, it has a small staff so you can get away with things without people necessarily knowing it's happening and for those who are spraying I believe there's probably some sort of hypnosis, MK Ultra, some sort of programming that makes these people believe that they are actually saving the world and saving us from global warming when in actual fact there's no global warming's a hoax. There is no hard proof that over the last hundred and ten years that we've kept records there hasn't been any um changes to historical heating levels of the globe until about ten years ago when they really started stepping up this geoengineering. So what they're doing is by spraying this layer, they keep the heat in at night, just like clouds do, and um, somehow magnify the heat. It's not reflecting it, it's magnifying it. And so now, see if I can get up there enough to see the sun. Now you can see the sun's about to rise and all of this is spread out. Even at the start of the video, this was, um, this was two separate trails, now it's just blended into one large mass. So, that will block our sun. They know that most people get their sun early morning and late afternoon. Most people work, a lot of people indoors. So the chance to get your vitamin D basically is in the morning when you're walking your dog or exercising before work. It's in the afternoon when you get home, do a bit of gardening jump in the pool for a swim, that sort of thing. So they'll block up morning in Arvo, and then during the day they can still hit their max temp of 32 or 34, it'll, it'll hit it briefly, and then they'll um, start spraying again. And um, the afternoon sun will be blocked, but they can still say, oh, we hit our top of 34. They need to make sure they keep hitting high temps so that they can sell us on this live global warming. Since global warming hoax came out, the cost of our um, electricity doubled in the space of eight years because of carbon taxes and, and alike. And um, these carbon taxes are just slush funds for the elites. They really are. They take in billions of dollars worldwide. They take something from pretty much every country. And um, where does this money go? Not to mention the fact that if we take all the carbon out of the environment, what are our plants going to use to photosynthesize? Farmers are getting less and less numbers on their crops, record low crops. There's a clear correlation as the carbon emissions come down, it gets harder to produce the food that we need to live. So, this is what's happening people. I'll leave a heap of links for everything from cloud generators, my standard set of links that I'll cut and paste. Um, you can go in and have a read of Harvard University and what they're saying. You can click all the little side links that will take you into stuff from United Nations. 
and other agencies. Um, just so you know, in Australia, we're about to make a payment of $500 million towards United Nations running costs. Um, you know, we've got extreme homeless epidemic, um, massive mental illness crisis, people that can't get treatment. But let's give away another $500 million to a corrupt entity that can make laws that supersede our own country law. So again, I encourage anyone to look up Spencer, S-P-E-N-C-E-R, Spencer Land Battle. Um, you know, they took their land. They didn't give them any buyback. They told them the United Nations has uh, rezoned their land carbon neutral. And so they shut their water off, told them to stop farming. And um, these guys are driving their trees, they're driving their cars into trees, committing suicide because they had nothing. Some of these farms were fourth, fifth generation farms taken, no buyback. So we need to get out of the United Nations. We need to do it quick. Because one, we're just pissing money up these pricks, and two, they're just destroying our way of life. Um, look up United Nations Climate Action Plan. They talk about resilient cities or smart cities where everyone's tracked by a facial recognition grid in real time, live time, facial rec tracking on this 5G network, uh, which is going to microwave radiate us all to cancer. So already you can see just in the time I've done this video, this thing's spread right out and it's firmly covering the sun. Turn around to the other side where the sun isn't, blue sky. They are dimming our sun. Thanks for listening guys, take it easy.